welcome, welcome back. back. It's time to cook now with our Gino. He's got the perfect Friday Are we back? finale. Yes. This is hey, an Gino. easy prawn risotto. Is that Beautiful, right? easy prawn risotto. Oh, look. OK, and I say easy because cooking prawns is quite easy. Cooking a risotto requires a little bit of time and a touch of technique, but everybody can do it. Yeah. All right, so you tell me when you're ready, I'll go for it. Go for it, darling. OK, so the first thing when you make a risotto, we need to look at the base. We're using leeks here. So I go leeks, I go asparagus, and I go peas. The leeks, we're going to fry them in the olive oil. Of course, the full recipe is on the website. Yeah. We want to fry them for four or five minutes, but don't give colour. I don't want the leeks to have colour. Just make sure that you soft them Just slightly. Soft. Yes. Keep them green. Exactly, keep them green. Okay. So now, heat. what is the secret of the risotto? The best thing to do is to toast the rice. First oh. of all, we need to choose the right rice. For a good risotto is Arborio, Carnaroli, Bialone Nano. So I'm giving you three of them you can choose. The Arborio is the most common one and it works really well. Remember, for a uh, portion is a good handful oh, per person. I didn't know that. Oh, okay? didn't know that. Well, good. Risotto gets the rice swallowed. It'd be quite a big okay. portion with your big hands, wouldn't it, Gino? Uh, well, if you go big hands, uh, you get a big portion. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> now, toasting the rice, yeah. what is important? Look what I'm doing here. The leek, this is the most important part, yeah? Retoasting. Okay, we are toasting the rice grain into Toast the leeks and the oil. And what's happened when you do that? the rice grain becomes translucent around. Mm -hmm. oh. So it's telling you that it's ready to get the stock. Yeah. And when you do the stock, there is a technique to do it. So do this, uh, oh. the toasting for about three or four minutes. Then the stock goes in a little at a time. Yeah. And so what you sort of stock is that? Is it chicken? A good vegetable stock. A vegetable stock. A good okay. vegetable stock. And I'm sure the sponsor of this morning would be very happy uh -huh. for me to mention a good vegetable stock. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and then you do, can you see what's happened? You put the stock, it, it absorbs it, and then off you do again. Oh, lovely. Don't put all the stock in one go. Yeah. So that's the technique. You need to have patience. Slowly, slowly. So I'm sure, uh, Dermot, your wife will be fantastic <laughs> to cook something like that. <laughs> she D, admits it, she which, D, which, under, you know, we know. <laughs> Don't you chuck me under a bus now, buddy. <laughs> no, I'm trying to throw you under the bus <laughs> because he said to me, my wife can cook anything, but the risotto, no. she does get distracted. She just and says, you, yeah. you can't, you've got to be, you've got to give You need to stay attention. on the board. You need to say, uh, Dermot, I need you for the prawns. What do you need? I can't do everything. Oh, so uh, i got some beautiful prawns. At home, you can get raw prawns like this one. I devein them, mm -hmm. took the black vein away. A little bit of olive oil in there. What I want to do, I, I really want to give them color with yep. salt and pepper. No more than that. Sure so thing. you throw them in there, exactly. a bit of salt and pepper, and the job is done. You may be wondering now, at what point the asparagus and the peas, they're going to go in the risotto? Yeah. They're going to go in the risotto five, mi five to six minutes before the end of the risotto. Yeah. Now, remember, a good risotto should take about 18, 20 minutes mm -hmm. for you to bond and keep stirring. The reason why I put it six to seven minutes before the end... it's still a little bit crunchy. Exactly. You don't yeah. want to lose the crunch of the uh -huh. asparagus. You don't yeah. want to lose the crunch of the, uh, uh, the peas. Yeah. yeah. So keep the flavour and the crunch going. A bit more now, there, yeah, much? you put a little bit, not too much oil, yeah? Now, I'm getting rid of the one that I showed you how to do the toasting. Yeah. OK? This is delicious, and by the way. It's so good, isn't it? I can't it? stop eating it. Couldn't wait till the end. Really Guys, the, break. the other thing as well you must remember when you make a risotto, uh, people use wine, and I've used wine in mine. Yeah. The wine should be the first liquids that you pour in the risotto, before the stock because the wine needs to evaporate. Ah. Yeah. The alcohol needs to evaporate and the flavour needs to stay in. So you put that before? Just before. Just yeah. before. I didn't do it because I was going to show you the stock yeah, first yeah. and we only have a, a certain amount of space. You don't have to put the wine in, though, do you? No, no, if you absolutely don't want to, But it gets not. evaporated out, doesn't it? Like you just, so... uh, yeah, but if you can't have alcohol or anything like that, you, you don't need to. You don't have to. You really to. don't need to. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the mantecatura. What mantecatura means? A lot of people, they ask me the question, you know, when you make a risotto, do you put double cream at the end? How do you make it so creamy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The creaminess comes from two things, guys. The creaminess comes from the butter yeah. and the cheese. Yes. OK? So, oh. once your risotto is ready, yeah. the, the rice is nice and al dente, switch everything off, like I did. At this point, butter goes in the middle, mm -hmm. and the cheese Oh, you Have you done my cheese? Oh, sorry, I didn't realise I was supposed to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what did we say? I didn't before? know you were doing the cheese. We've got one minute left. Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. 
Okay, so the butter goes in there, then the cheese. Ah, we chose to, to have a coarse uh, grated cheese. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so that it's goes in epic. the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I like the chunky, chunks. Come on, chunk the cheese. Off. Get I like in a chunky there. version. For everybody at home, the finer <laughs> you can grate the cheese, the better the mantecatura will become. And at this point, what do you need to do? Uh, keep stirring and yes, look after the prawns. Oh, shall I do the wine? I'll yes, do that. You do carry on. Yes, I want to put a touch of wine as well into the, uh, into yes, the prawns. Yes. This is yours. One sip Thank for you, you and a little bit for the uh, prawns as well. Ah, don't you just love Friday on this morning? I love a Friday. It's the best time. Yeah. Salute. Salute. No, if I, you drink my one as well. <laughs> Salute. Come Salute. Come, come over here. here. Come over on here. On the top? No. No, no, no. Just leave it there. Well, we're finished. <laughs> Mm. Thanks, Gino. What do we do? Uh, what do you mean, thanks, Gino? We're we not going to serve it. Today's recipes are more delicious ideas for my chefs. Head to the free this morning app.